Hey everyone, Broben here and welcome to Shapes.io. Shapes is a super simple factory game uh, where basically you have to just create certain shapes that the game is requesting. So we're going to start a new game here and just jump straight into it. Um, I I've played this game, full disclosure, completely before and I'm a huge, huge fan of it. Uh, so right now you can see it, this like center bit. It's asking us to make a grey circle and luckily enough there is one very close by. So, um, we can use these little tiles and mine, essentially, and carry them into the hub. So, you see, this mines them and carries them. So, basically, it's just like a factory game, uh, which is uh, very interesting to play on the channel. I've not actually done some inlights before, so hopefully, hopefully you guys like it. Uh, so, 3 out of 30, I do have to do a few more here to complete the challenge. So... Let's get a few more conveyor belts going here. Now, this, I think, goes up to, like, what, level 20 in the game currently? And the developer's working on some cool DLC. So, I do plan on making just a few videos on it as it currently is. And completing the game, maybe, like, five episodes. We'll see. So, there's a bunch of stuff that you have to unlock through progression and, and meeting the requirements that the hub is after. So, that is now level, um, level 1 done. And we've now unlocked the cutter, so we can basically split shapes in half. Uh, so, let me get rid of all this. And now what we can do um, is cut. So, I'm just going to do something a little simple here. We're going to bring this up and in. Same for this one. And then it's going to cut it. The problem is, though, one of these will be wrong, and that's this one. So, we can delete the other half that gets cut and only keep one. So you see that? Left half goes through here. So, yeah. <laughs> it's quite simple when you, uh, once you play it a little bit. There's actually a free-to-play version of this as well. Literally go to the website shapes.io if you want to play it yourself for, uh, for free. Obviously, there is a, uh, a limit as to what you can do in that version. I'm just going to wait here and, uh, and see if I can get a few more here. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. So obviously, as you progress, you can get faster conveyor belts and make much more complex shapes. You've noticed that there's like different colors around. And um, so now I can, I don't know, no reward. <laughs> uh, so you can dye these uh, shapes and make completely different colors and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So now we need, uh, we need this one up here. So let's get those going in. I'm actually going to add another one just to speed this up because... Um, because this is, for some reason, asking for 70. <laughs> so we're just going to wait until this is done, and then we'll be on to level 3. There we go. Multifunctional balancer. So this is a pretty cool little thing. Uh, we can basically um, send one conveyor belt and split it into two equally. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so now we need to make uh, basically the same shape as before and split it. Now, this game is perfect for me because I have a tendency to, like, over-engineer things. Um, <laughs> so, this is going to be interesting. Um, like, right now, I'm over-engineering. I don't need to go this crazy. Um, but, hey, I enjoy it, so why not? So, we're going to send this into here. That into there. And then this into here. So, what we can do is get these coming out and s merge them, basically. So, let's get this new thing that we just unlocked and uh and do this so now both of these will come out of this one look at that pretty cool eh and then this next one we're just gonna send uh okay this is messing me up a little bit what is going on here there we go level four the rotator has been unlocked so basically um you could just rotate the piece <laughs> each shape is made up of four corners and uh, you know how here I'm deleting the other side? Well, I could rotate it and now use both sides. Uh, so what shape are we after here? We are after the top circle. So let's just delete all of this here. Send that into a splitter and find out which one we need. So, right. So this is, this needs to be rotated once clockwise. And that should be done. And that means this one needs to be rotated three times, I think. Yep, look at that. Beautiful. And now what we can do is merge them like that and then send them all out straight in like that. So this should work here. Beautiful. Okay, 
Now I just gotta do that a few more times and repeat the process. So this may look quite complicated here, but it's uh it's quite simple when you break it down. This basically, um two inputs can go to one output because it sort of you know crosses them over. And then what you can do is do the exact same thing again, right? So now you've got this where three inputs go to one output. And you can do that again, like this, and then all of a sudden you can do this, which actually doesn't help. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I think this, such a simple concept like this, just making shapes, I spent 60 hours doing this to complete the game, and I had so much fun, so I'm really happy to do this again. I'm very close to uh, unlocking level 5 here. There we go, level 5. The tunnel has been unlocked, so we can go through um, other uh, belts, so simplifies things a little bit. You don't have to go all the way around and have all those items on the screen. What's this up here? Ah! I can now upgrade. Right, so these are the upgrades I completely forgot about. <laughs> uh, so, uh, belts, distribution tunnels, uh, basically the speed is going up 0.5. So we can upgrade that and basically we need to fill these requirements to unlock them, which is completely different to going up a new level. So, uh, with that in mind, I am going to start filling up these requirements here. So right here, I have one, two, three, I've got six inputs and I want to get one output. So I will just lay these down like this, two here and one there. And then all of those six inputs will go to one output. Um, so it's completely, it's kind of similar to Satisfactory. You've got to think of it like that with splitters, mergers. It's the exact same thing, except we're not making, you know, we're not doing a survival game. It's just making shapes. I love it. So, for the next upgrade, uh, I need full circles. So, I'm going to start making a bunch of circles here. Let's get one, two, three, four, five. And let's merge them all together. So, let's get that to go there. And then, you know what? Let's just do six to make it easy. And then, we'll get the merger here. It's not actually a merger, but it functions like one. So, then we can just start to do this. And then send this all the way straight in to, uh, to there. Awesome. So now I'm getting a bunch of circles going in here. And let's check what we can do here. We can upgrade the extraction uh, speed. Lovely. I also need a star for speeding up the cutting, rotating, and things like that. Where's a star around here? I see one here. Beautiful. All right. Let's do the same for this. Okay. Those stars are now on the way to the hub. Looking good. Okay. So next, uh, I want to upgrade. I need a few more half circles. That's not going to take too long. So I can almost speed that up. I need more squares. Let's sort that out, shall we? This is a bit of a mess here. Okay, that's some more squares going in here. Looking good, looking good. All right, what else do I need? I can upgrade that. Let's go, let's do it. I love getting the upgrades going because that's really where you start to see speed increases. Uh, right, okay, so this is starting to ask for color stuff, colored stuff, which I can't do yet. Um, so what I can do is, is this here, the top right corner circle. I actually need that for the main upgrade as well, so... Cool. Right, let's start working on that. So, let's start with a fresh circle over here. And let's uh, let's see what we can do with just one here. So, I need to split it. That's the idea. Right, let's start down here. And I also need to split it again. So, we're going to rotate this piece. So, you see I've got those two. And if I split it again, it's just going to come out, I think, the same piece, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, what we need to do is rotate it first. Then send it into a splitter again. And see what we get. So we can tell this is the piece that we need. Uh, so what we're going to do is rotate all the other three to sort of match. There we go. That's two done. And there we go. That should be all three of them. Beautiful. Let's get them joined up again. And send them straight to the hub. Also you can do this sort of quick draw like that. Really, really cool. If you love factory games, this is, this is definitely one to give a shot. It's more of sort of like a laid back experience. And just a little bit of fun. But like I said, I've poured 60 hours into this game, and it's just so much fun. There are no hostiles or anything like that. You don't have to worry about any threats. It's just sort of, in your own time, chill and enjoy the game. Let's get this shape going as well, which is the half of the square. Let's do it here. There we go. That's loads of the half squares going as well. Beautiful. Start getting uh, like a nice little system going here. Love it. I think I need to add more. Yeah, I can add a lot more here. Let's, uh... Let's do the whole system again. It's the exact same thing. Oh, level six, the painter. We'll get into that in just a second here. I'm uh, I'm finishing off this. 
You can make things so compact as well. It's like you sort of never finish a game like this. And I really like that. So let's send that into there, that into there, and then join that back on. Beautiful. There we go. So that's double the production of the quarter circles. Lovely. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure I'm making anything else. Um, yep, we are totally good. I think the bomb circles. Nope. Right. Cool. Painter. So literally exactly what it says. It's a painter. Um, and you can paint. You can rotate it in different ways. Right. So, so you sort of like make things more compact using that. So, I am now need to make red circles. I also need that for... Nope, nothing else. I need red and purple circles. So, there is no purple. We'll get into that later. So, I need the color red and a circle somewhere near me. This might do. Beautiful. So, if I send the shape up here and the color into there, out comes... I need a second now. A red circle. <laughs> it takes a second. So that is what I need to produce at quite a fast rate. I need to make 300 of them. Yeah, look at that. And one thing I like to do with this game is find the best way to make something work. And for me, I think I remember making something like this using tunnels. So you get your inputs for the color down here and then you have your outputs. But the problem is you can't go through here. So your inputs for the shapes go here and then the output uses a tunnel which I swear I unlocked. Here they are. Go in here and then out a bit further down the line. Just like that. If the tunnels confuse you, blues in, greens out. Um, so let's start to set this up for reals here. So these extractors get 0.6 items a second, right? And the painters, if you look at the top right, it says 0.33. So basically one extractor per two painters. So you gotta do a little bit of uh, a little bit of maths, but that's okay. Uh, so we're going to go for a splitter, chuck that in here, send one to there and one to there. A little bit messy, but that should get the job done here. And then the exact same for this. So let's chuck down an extractor here, a splitter, and then get those on there. And that should produce exactly 0.6 items a second. Useful. It is, in fact, working. Okay, so I'm going to re repeat this a few times and uh, get this up and running, honestly. This can very easily sort of look complicated. Like, it's not complicated. The simpler it is, usually the more compact it is, like this. I've just uh, brought the splitter further down to the end here. I'm just going to temporarily delete those for now so I can make sure that the rates are okay. Um, add a little splitter or a merger here. These aren't actually mergers. What are they called? Balances. Um, we unlock those later on. But that is looking... Almost like it works. You see right there? I forgot to get that. Cool. There we go. And those two should now be going all the way to one. Awesome. Right. Let's draw a line and get this down to the hub. I think I should just be able to reach. Oh, beautiful. That's now connected. And those are on their way down. I need 300 of these. So <laughs> I'm actually going to make another one of those. Also, one question you may have is, uh, is there any building cost? No. <laughs> it's not it's kind of like creative mode but you have the only thing you have to do is beat the requirements um to create the shapes so you don't have to go and find the resources you well you have to find these and mine them um but the only thing that's limiting you is the speed at which you can do so um so it's a little different in that sense but that's looking pretty good i'm quite happy with that conveyor belt for now here so i'm gonna just wait until that is done with 300 here all right, there we have it. Level seven completed. Right, I have now unlocked the rotator in the counterclockwise direction. So basically, um, where I used to have to rotate it three times, I can only rotate it. I can I only need to rotate it once. Really cool. Right, so I also can unlock something here: extraction upgrade and cutting, rotating, and stacking upgrade. Okay, these shapes get a little complicated here. So I need a purple circle can't do that yet i can however no i can't do that uh i can do this <laughs> a blue yeah that shape <laughs> ah beautiful look at that we've got some oh oh beautiful right so uh we've got the uh shape production here that's gonna go into the wrong place okay uh uh i guess i'll do that that works right we'll bring the color all the way around here so Let's do that and then in. 
And that should be our desired shape, I think. Beautiful. Looking good. Looking good. Right, going to set up another one here with a nice little tunnel. And we're actually going to not split this. That's going to go straight into there and that's going to go into here. That should work quite well. All right. That's looking pretty good. It's too slow. <laughs> so we're going to add another one here. Hopefully that, oh, that tunnel does reach. Beautiful. Okay, so that splitter needs to be here, I think. Oh, this might be a bit messy. It is messy, but it works for now. Okay, perfectionist does not like this. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see let's see just how much we're producing here. Okay, so it's like we need more on this conveyor belt. Okay, more. Let's uh, let's do two of them. Merge them together. That is a lot, a lot of inputs. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Okay. So I don't know what to prefer. Do you think the light mode, like when it loads, like this, or the dark mode? Because I think I personally prefer the dark mode. Things are a little bit clearer in the light mode, but yeah, for me, for me it's the dark mode. <laughs> oh, that's so much nicer to look at. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of want to play Factorio on the channel. Let me know what you think to that in the comments. That's a bit more like survivally. This looks like the right pace for the, for the merger here. Cool. That is now a full speed conveyor belt. That could not get any more things on it. So this is where we're going to send this into the painter. So with this system for the painter, the way it is, I have to build it in threes, essentially. Uh, so get that out to there, that out to there. And then we've got three outputs here. And this should work quite well. So let's, how many does this do? 0.3, okay. Now these conveyor belts also do four items per second. So that means I need 13 painters uh, in order to take advantage of this full speed here. So <laughs> that's going to take a little while here, but it should do well. All right. Well, that's 12. So I'm going to build that up and I guess I'll let you know when that's done. That's 12. That 13. I don't have to do exactly 13. This will be good. Right. So there's the inputs completely done. Let's get the tunnels done for the, uh, for the color inputs as well. Okay. <laughs> It's starting to look a bit more factory-like with this, what, what I've got set up right now. Um, so if, if this is a bit complicated, don't worry. It's confusing me a little bit. Um, but <laughs> it's coming along quite nicely here. Now, later down the line, you do unlock the ability to copy-paste, like, entire selections. Um, so building factories does speed up uh, as you go along here. So uh, this is looking fairly good right now. I'm just going to finish off one more, and we should be good to go here. Oops. Okay, awesome. So we've got those outputs. Uh, we've got the two inputs here. So let's merge them all together and get this working properly. So there's six inputs. Well, there's 12. Uh, but that should work here. So if we start with doing just one side. So this one here goes into there. Oh my god, this is so complicated. <laughs> that goes into there. This next one goes into here. This goes into there. And then you just repeat the whole process here. This goes into there. That one's there. That one's there. And then that side is done. So this starts to look really cool, actually. And that is now the shape input done. So distribution is quite simple. Just do this all the way down until you've got one input. And then we can connect this up here. Like I said... I tend to over-engineer. Um, but let's send that down to there. And that should now work. Just got to do the exact same thing for the inputs of the colors. And this whole machine will now work. Producing, hopefully, four items a second. And that is the last connection for the inputs. It looks really complicated. But if you zoom out, you've got in, in, and out. If this looks complicated at all, like I highly advise just playing the game. It's so good. Right, so this is blue, I think. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got to get that from over here. There we go. That's the color in. Let's merge these outputs, and then we can call it a day with this farm. Spent like an hour on this. <laughs> it's such an addicting game. I love it. Only to realize that I'm forgetting that I need to rotate them as well. Yes. <laughs> I completely forgot that. <laughs> Great. I've got to split them and rotate them. Lovely. Okay, this factory is outgrowing this. I don't think I need this anymore. Let's delete that. It's also outdated anyway, so cool. <laughs> Just delete. 
Oh, God, man. Cool. Now all those are going in. Let's uh, set this up completely. And we can start deleting them to make sure that the, uh, the flow is correct. That flow looks pretty, pretty good. They're just backing up slightly here. But give it a little bit of time and they'll free up. So now we need to split them and rotate them. Let's do that, shall we? It was with this tool. So if this conveyor belt is doing four items a second, I need four splitters because these can do one per second. So the top half we want to rotate clockwise once, and then the bottom we want to rotate anti-clockwise once. Merge these back together, and that should be our shape absolutely done. However, we're going to need two two conveyor belts going in here because we've doubled our um, our item production. So let's get rid of this as well. That's taking up too much space. Let's get rid of this, and then send both of those in perfectly. Cool. Uh, so let's send that in here. And watch this work and produce our shape. Hopefully. They're wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Which one's wrong here? <laughs> ah, okay, so this is right. These bottom ones don't need adjusting. I just need to rotate these two twice. Easy fix. No need to worry. And the job is almost done. Done. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. I love it. 480 of those to go. I also need quite a few for the upgrade as well. 600. Look at that. 8 per second, I think that is. Lovely. Look at that speed. Love it. Love it. Let's go. Jeez, that is super quick. I've already completed it. Right, so now we can, like, mix colors and make uh, different colors using the colors that exist in the world. <laughs> so, um, I think I needed something for the upgrade. What was it? Uh, a purple circle. So, let's make... Oh, a new upgrade? Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Mixing and painting has now been sped up. Lovely. Let's make a thousand purple circles. Do I need those as well? I do. Right, down here should work. So, let's just make sure this is all going to work correctly. Get our two colors. Send those in. There we go. Purple. Beautiful. Purple circle. So, this can produce 0.6 items a second. Okay, I don't think I'm going to go as crazy <laughs> with this one. Uh, this is beautiful to watch, though. Look at that. I love it. It's so good. Looking at this, like, actually reminds me of the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, like, with the snakes. I don't know. It looks so much like it. Now, one problem with making 100% efficient designs like this is that as you upgrade things, it gets messed up because the speeds increase. This was 0.6 before, but now it's extracting at 0.8 a second. So, you've really got to, like, not pay too much attention to it, but also keep an eye on it. Does that make any sense? So, that should make some purple here. Let's, uh, merge that up. I actually can't very easily. Oh, that's awkward. Let's just add another one anyway, and, uh, do it that way. Merge all those in like that. And now we're making loads of purple. Lovely. Okay, this should also work now. Let's send this in and see what we get here. This might do good. It might do bad. We've got a purple circle. That's for sure. And we're flowing. Lovely. Nice. I need 600 of those. So that's going to be quite a lot. Right, now this is producing what I need. However, it's not really that fast. It's fast enough. This game isn't supposed to be AFK. Um, so you're not supposed to like set it up like this and then go AFK. He's supposed to keep going and build faster. Um, but this is kind of like a decent pace. So I am, in fact, just going to AFK here for a little while until I get, you know, a couple of thousand, maybe. I have unlocked the merger variant of the balancer. So this is what I was talking about. Basically, it's specifically for merging. Uh, and there's another one that is um, for a, a splitter. Uh, they're a little easier to work with, and they're also smaller. Cool, so I also need a thousand of them um, for the speed upgrade. I turned the music off because it was damn loud. <laughs> uh, it was a little bit annoying. Let me know if you uh, want me to have the music on or off. Cool, so I need a cyan star. I am ready to start work on that actually for the extraction upgrade. That sounds good. So this um, new thing we unlocked, what was it? The It's like a variant of this, yeah. This. We've got the two different shapes uh, of mergers. So what we can do is just stack a few like this next to the extractors. And then that is much more compact. So, if you look at that. That's beautiful. I love it when it's just a solid line. Everything comes together to make it go. Okay, let's add one more. There we go. 
And that now should be a solid line. Really? Okay, let's add another. <laughs> That's kind of modular. I really like that. Now it's a solid line. Cool. Uh, so let's get some cyan on the go here. So I remember when I made this a while ago, there's like a certain way you can get this going here. So you take the input for one color from the side and one from the top, I think. Um, and then you just sort of keep that going. New upgrade. Let's go. Um, belt distributor and tunnel speed. Lovely. Okay, let's not look at any other <laughs> further advanced, more advanced stuff. Uh, okay, what? Oh, I can add even more now. Lovely. Um, let's get this max speed, shall we? Let's add three in here and see what speed we get here. Perfect. Oh, too fast. Let's shave one off. I love this. I love messing with speeds and rates and numbers. It's really, really quite satisfying. So I've remembered it's like this. So you can easily take one color in this way, and then you can have another color coming in down with a tunnel with an output at the bottom. So, because I don't have the higher end tunnels right now, I have to make a smaller version of this, but it should work quite well. So uh, let's try and get a tunnel and send the input here. You see, I can do that. That will work. Beautiful. I kind of built this in a scuffed place. <laughs> oh god. Uh, but the concept is the same here. So let's do that. And then now we need to get enough extractors to power this thing. Wait, no, cyan's a different. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cyan's green and blue. <laughs> oh god. Well, the color's over here. So at least I don't need red. Cool. So that's all you have to do. I love, I love that. And then you just get the mergers in like that. Done. Blue's in, and now we need the green. So, let's do the same again here. For four of them, send that into there, and this should, theoretically, be working. For the merger, all you do is the exact same thing here. Yeah, it's making yellow, that's fine. And that is now the output. Done. There we go, cyan. I got the color wrong with you. <laughs> God. <sighs> anyway. That's now done. Uh, all we have to do is ramp up production to make it a bit faster here. Okay, music's back on. Um, so that is looking okay, but I do need a lot of these. So I think I need to double that output at least. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, let's make the whole thing again. <laughs> okay, I think that is also done. Uh, let's see what happens here. I've got the green going in, the blue going in for two of them. Send that over here, and let's merge both of these into uh, into one here. Right, so that's now a good flow of cyan. Uh, just to show you sort of where I'm at already, this is what I've done. The world is massive. I think it possibly could be infinite. I don't, I don't think it's infinite, but it very well could be. Uh, so, let's start working on the painter here. We've got these two coming out. So, send that over here. Let's do the painter here. I just realized that the distribution for this is going to be quite large here, so I might have messed up. Um, possibly. Very possibly. Okay, bit of a bodge fix on the end there, but that in distribution is now done for the, uh, for the color. So I could technically send this in already, and that should start building up a nice supply. Right, now let's sort the shape out. This is a bit of a mess here. All right, so that's the input for the shape. Okay, that should be good enough here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that is good. Let's just make sure here. I might need to add more input for the star shape, but that should. Nice. That is, in fact, producing them. It's doing it at a fairly good rate as well. So the hub's all the way down here. Let's draw a line from here all the way down and over to the hub. Kind of scary doing that because it can overwrite things. <laughs> but there we go. That line is done. Let's see it going. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that shape, I need 3.5k for the extraction upgrade and to progress to the next level. So I think I'm pretty happy with that rate. I'm going to wait until this is done. I'll see you then. Okay, the stacker coming in. So this is where we can start to make much more complex shapes. And this is where the game gets a little bit difficult. So, uh, basically, you can put one shape on top of another, just like this diagram is showing here. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty intense. So, that is what we need to make this next shape. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm going to wait until I've got this next uh, upgrade here. I need 3.5k 
probably a good idea to make more of these. Um, but I think what I want to do is kind of like speed run blueprints. Uh, because that makes the game so much easier. Uh, so I think that's like level 14 until I can get that. But anyway, that is where I'm going to round up episode one of Shapes. This is going to be a sort of like a mini series. I don't expect this to go on for more than like five, six episodes. Uh, so if you want to see more of it, make sure to let me know in the comments and also like the video. That really does, you know, help me gauge what people want to see and don't see. I thought I'd throw this on the channel as something a little bit different. I personally very much enjoy this game. I've already completed it once, as I've mentioned. This is all backing up now, you see, because the rates have changed. Things change. <laughs> so... Uh, very quickly, things become obsolete and you have to re remake them, which is why blueprints become so useful. If it turns out that enough of you actually like watching this, then I might end up doing a Factorio series in the future, because that's just basically like this, just on steroids. Like, there's so much you could do, and it's actually a survival game as well with creatures and stuff. So, um, yeah, really enjoying Shape so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's going to be everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode of Shapes.